Hello and welcome to the video. This video is basically about how to tell your parents or a how to approach your parents about possibly wanting to create content and try and make it as a living. Obviously, it's a very hard thing to do, but if you play your cards right, you can get it done. But I'll give you some tips to uh, approach your parents with if you're looking to approach your parents with possibly not wanting to do stuff after high school. You can ask these questions and hopefully they understand. Basically, what I did was I basically just went to my parents and said, hey, you guys obviously know, like, I wasn't the best in school. I admit that, and my parents know that, and I just decided, why not try and do something that I love, including making videos, streaming, playing games is something I've been using to escape the reality of the world for the last 10, 15 years plus, and I thought, why not? Let's just stream to have fun. I'm like, why not? I'll boot up a stream. My friends and I were in the room, we were just playing, I think it was Gang Beasts or COD, one of the two, and they're like, yeah, let's just start a stream. Let's just start a stream, sorry. Then I realized that I wanted to do this as much as possible, because I did like it. It started to be like, a, oh, I need to focus around this, I need to make my schedule, base my schedule around gaming and streaming and content creation, to the point where, from a young age, I was basically skipping school faking sick to do content uh from a very young age like i'm talking when i was 11 10 12 maybe 13 uh i started with mini sick fights in my basement in my parents basement then gradually i got to like day in the life recording random videos around my town recording videos in school which i did get in trouble for um the biggest thing that i did though was prank videos everybody remembers the prank era uh diss track era 2017 uh, we did that, but we never really uploaded the videos because they were so stupid. Uh, I was making diss tracks on friends. They knew it was fake. We all knew it was fake. So the videos just didn't f seem realistic to post because it just looked stupid. We were basically shitting on each other for no apparent reason. We were kids. We weren't really swearing, so it made no real sense to post it. In hindsight, I realized it could have been a hilarious video to look back on. But uh, then we decided to start a group. We called ourselves the Maple Boys from canada so that's why uh we didn't really post it's mainly just two of us uh there was 10 of us that were involved in the channel but only two people really posted then the channel kind of died off because everybody went to school everybody went to after high school they all went to extracurricular stuff i stayed home didn't really want to go to college so i just started to go ham with content to the point where generally my streams are doing well i'm pushing for affiliate on twitch at coxy tv by the way on twitch if you want to follow me uh i stream every night to sometimes even every morning uh mainly nhl fifa and variety games um what else a big tip that i say to talk to your parents is approach them with evidence uh approach them with people that you idol like your idols sorry like for me my idol was matthew h on hag uh jack courage dunlop like these guys were massive uh in terms of the space back then jack courage uh started as a co podcaster uh Nate shot obviously everybody knows Nate shot if you don't he was a professional call of duty player from 2011 until 2016 he stopped in 2016 to pursue a dream of making a organization which became 100 thieves on top of that he basically has become the first esports organization to host a woman as a co-owner about ready easy it's it's not an easy task whatsoever to make these most organizations that's why it's been taking me over 10 years to actually perfect it to see if i can have a chance of bidding for a spot in the cdl uh agls which is the apex legends uh legends tournament basically the easiest advice i can give you is to just be up front with it doesn't have to be five years, it doesn't have to be ten years, but I'm like, next couple months. Think of just the year. Make a detailed schedule for just the next couple months and what your plan is to elevate your content. Like for me, my my elevated plan was to start on Twitch, slowly work your way to other platforms. Mainly TikTok now, back then it used to be musically and vine for me. Um obviously musically became TikTok. With TikTok, it's pretty easy. It gives you a chance every time in every video to go viral. You just need to play your cards right, write hashtags, write caption, write video, and people make it relatable, simple and relatable, and people will come up with it. They'll take your video, they'll take your audio, they'll make revamps of it, remake the videos. That will get you more exposure. exposure. With gaming cards, make sure if it's a specific game, you can title the hashtags for that specific game. Like for me, I make NHL. I've been making 
I would title the caption with whatever game I'm playing. Say it's FIFA. Say I'm playing FIFA Ultimate Team. It's a cool clip. Like a bicycle kick, a scissor kick, a random build up to a goal, or a nice save. I would say, like, I would explain the video in my captions. But then at the bottom, the hashtag, I would say, FIFA Ultimate Team. Or whichever game it is. If it's FIFA 23, I'd say, hashtag FIFA 23 Ultimate Team. If I'm playing career mode, hashtag FIFA 23 Career Mode. If I'm playing full cut, hashtag FIFA 23 Full Cut. If it's NHL, same thing, NHL 23 Ultimate Team. audience of TikTok, the algorithm will take your video, sometimes it hits, sometimes it misses, basically it'll take you and put you into the mist. Hope to God that the algorithm picks it up in the right way, puts you in the right category, gets you to the right people, they see your content, they like it, they share it, they save it, they show their friends, they realize, oh, you're a content creator, they go to your channels, they watch you. If you're not live, they watch your VODs. If you're a YouTuber only, they go and watch your videos. If they like it, they subscribe. They do the same thing. They share with their friends. They share with their family. They post it on their socials saying, oh, look at this person. They're doing really good content that takes minimal time to maximum time. Minimal and maximum time meaning like, say you're making strictly TikTok videos. The average video to go viral, to have a higher chance of going viral, sorry, is use a popular sound between... 350k views to a million views and make the videos between three and seven seconds long or no six and seven seconds long for longer form videos 15 to 20 seconds shorter form 5 to 10 for medium 8 to 12 i would say uh, seconds long that's where the algorithm can really pick up the video and make sure that it's putting you in the right spot uh for other kinds of videos like i do reaction videos in terms of like the sports i like to watch I am a Canadians fan, Montreal Canadiens, ice hockey if you're from Europe, hockey if you're from North America. Uh, in terms of other sports, um, football, other than soccer, but I prefer to call it football because I have English family. Uh, Manchester City, everybody says that a Manchester City fan is not really a fan because they don't go to the matches. I would love to go if I lived in the fucking country. If I lived in the country, I would go. Every game. Every game I would go. But I'm in Canada way too far away to even chance of going for a match unless i make the move there which is very risky um basically that's about it i hope to see you guys in the future have a good rest of your day see ya